Memphis Grizzlies hosting the Washington Wizards. No John Morant, no Desmond Bain. I had some friends that went to this game. I didn't know they didn't get Desmond Bain and Ja. I knew Desmond been out. I don't know what's going on. I know Ja had to fall against the Lakers. I didn't realize he'd be down. I'm assuming he's out because of the fall. Because he didn't return. He didn't return after that fall. I remember um, the Grizzlies took care of business without him down the stretch. But I do want to highlight something here um, in the NBA um, that I think happens too much here. I'm going to be sorry, y'all. If y'all looking for me to be a negative Nancy, I'm definitely going to be that. If y'all hate when I'm negative Nancy, um, you're probably not going to watch this video. Big block from Zach Eady, though. And, um, Alex Sar, who was the number two pick, but I call him the number one pick because the Hawks should have took him number one. That was stupid. Um, former Grizzly Jonas Valanciunas with the deuce. So the Grizzlies of old used to be able to win games like this, right? Let's see if they could do it. Even down players, they used to win a lot of games without Ja. So let's see if they're still capable of doing that. Good effort from Zach Eady. Beautiful dime from Luke Kennard and Saudi Aldama's great start to the year continues. Grizzly Nation be on me about Aldama's stats, so I'll read them early. 12 points from Aldama in this one. Jaron Jackson at 39. <laughs> Jack that was the three. Wait, Jaron had 30? I haven't seen him make a bucket yet. Kennard. Aldaba. Ain't no way Jaron Jackson had 39. Zach Eady, 14 and 8. My guy Huff got in the game and had 12. Oh, wow. Washington is bad. Including Jay Huff, who's into the game. He's tending the league at three point percentage. That three in by Sean George. Shot clock is dark. And a bad pass. Star with the steal. And a look ahead at Kulabali. Slams it down. That has been the only problem for the Grizzlies in this period. Wizards have not led after one quarter or at the half this year. Jaron drives in. Okay, Jaron Jackson. I guess if you're going to score 39, we got to start seeing some of these 39. That means no shot blocking around the basket. Deontay George, deep. They like deep run. Drafted by the Knicks, but traded to Washington. Jaron crosses over on Sarge, punches with the left hand. What's up with Jaron Jackson? Pool deep. Got it. A three of his own. Wizards lucky to just be hanging around here, by the way. Against his old team on Monday night. In the building in DC, that's the case. Sar around and out. Stay Down tuned, y'all. Make sure you haven't if you have not done so, subscribe to the channel for more quality content like this. Reaction channel. We just we reacting to basketball highlights. Nothing more, nothing less. You are getting it from one of the best going though. I don't miss a beat with the NBA. So um you're getting it from the best. As Scotty Pippen Jr. finds Jackson for three, which gets me to my a gripe. I'm trying to wait it out here. Um but I guess I might as well go ahead and get into it. Listen, y'all, I'm all for NBA storylines to get us through the season. It's a long season, so you need as many storylines as possible. Um, but sometimes things bother me, right? All I heard was he's about to get in the game here. The Grizzlies got a, a 5A Japanese point guard on their roster. Yuki Kawamara, and I've heard some stuff about him, right? I've, you know, he's a fun guy. I've seen him dancing on the bench. Josh seems to really like him. But at the end of the day, this is a 5'8 point guard that's probably not going to play a lot of basketball at the professional level. 
He's in Memphis. They like him as Jackson nails the three. With that being said, what bothers me, and by the way, shout out to Memphis Moneybag. Yo was in the building for this game on the uh, court. He's in town for the Rod Wave concert this weekend in my hometown. He, anyway, Kyle Amara is going to get his first bucket, and I think he's going to have a good pass in this one. I saw some on Twitter, I think, right? I'm not mad at him for, you know, making an honest living and, and having his first highlight plays of his career. I'm mad at basketball blocks, blogs because that got more coverage as Wells gets the floater to go. You know, and I get it. He's a story. He's 5'8", and he's a Japanese player. And obviously, you know, you get it, right? Like, anywho, Scottie Pippen Jr., a kid that did not have high expectations at all coming out of college. Remember, um, you know, we obviously know who his dad is. His mom ain't doing him no favors. She can't stay out of the news. Can you imagine? Your mom's sleeping with an NBA player who's your coworker, right? Like, his mom ain't doing him no favors, but this young man has just work and work and work. And he finds himself as a backup point guard for the Grizzlies. He's pretty much filling in the Tyrus Jones role. And he's also light skinned, but the reality is, like, he's light skinned like Tyrus. He's not Tyrus Jones yet, right? Like, I don't know what he's going to be, um, but he's not Tyrus Jones yet. But he had a triple-double in his basketball game. And to me, that should be the story. And Scotty, I know for a fact, he's been in Memphis. I know one of my sisters took a picture with Scotty Pippen last game. Um, he, he's in Memphis often watching his boy play. And I just think this is such a great storyline. Just to put in perspective how great of a story this is, Scotty Pippen and Scotty Pippen Jr., we talk about Bronny and, 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 and LeBron because they're playing together. They're the first ever father-son duo to both have triple doubles in a basketball game, right? Like, obviously, they're not playing together. Scotty, I don't know. Well, anyway, Scotty Sr.'s clearly been retired for a long time, but you get the drift, man. Like, the, the story of this one should have been the greatness of Darren Jackson and Scotty Pippen Jr.'s triple double and what's probably his first start. Or close to it. He balled out. But we're talking about a 5'8 point guard. We just got to grow this sport, man. It's got to be more than just funny memes. We got to grow real stories. If, if Scottie Pippen Jr. maybe is going to be a, a, a really important piece to a team that's got championship aspirations. And he is dotting all over the court. Grizzlies are down two starters. He's having a freaking game of his life. Granted, against the Wizards, he's still balling. It's still an NBA team. We're talking about Kawamari, man. What, what the hell? They got a good player in George. 24th overall pick. I get it. Workout loop. With the right? Oh, what a block from Edie. Also, this is our first Edie versus Sar matchup. Edie looks better than Sar. And he's out there in the court, y'all. He's in the corner. And another thing, by the way, Huff is a great role player for Memphis. He's shining in Memphis. But here you go. Here's your moment. It, oh, it was a dime now. Oh, that is a dime now. I can't lie. That was a dot. From Kyle Martin. That was a dot. I ain't gonna lie. Let me put a little spice on that. Exactly. And the three pointer dropped in. Look how short he is. That's crazy. Bro, I'm five nine and a half. Yugi, step back three. Edie backing down, facing up, hooking and hitting. And foul. Damn, I would look short on an NBA court. He's not 5'8". Shout out to Scotty Pippen. If you love flexing your sports knowledge, you should head over to the best place to play fantasy sports and win some money while you're at it. That's Underdog. For me, I love the Pick'em game. It's super simple to play, too. All you got to do is go to the Underdog website or app. You got to pick whether a player will have a higher or lower stat line for that specific game. You get your picks right, and you can win up to 1,000 times your money. And 
When you sign up, if you use your boy's promo code, which is Faro, your deposit will get matched up to $1,000. It's available to you in bonus cash. You can't beat that. Tap in with Underdog. My promo code is Faro.